Hey, hi guys. So, we are going to, for our lower grades, we're going to talk about an easy way to do um, more realistic looking spheres where we take just that circle shape and try and make it look more rounded. Um, and that is to make some bubbles. Bubbles. Okay, so we're going to draw a few circles and we're going to talk about how to add in a light that shines, a tiny bit of color to just give it that extra look of bubbles. All right, now if you want, um, you can grab stuff to trace. Right? It's a lot harder to trace like an actual sphere. It's easier to trace a cylinder shape. If you remember these from last week, these are cylinders. Okay, so I like to have something to color with, a pencil with an eraser, and optional would be something to trace. All right, so I'm going to go on here, and I'm going to add in, woo, hold on, my easel, as you guys probably know by now, is not fan of being pushed on so I gotta hold this down here and trace my circles all right so you can do however many circles you want and since these are bubbles and they're gonna be see-through oops we can also overlap them little bit on top of each other. Alright, so let's see. I have just a couple of these smaller circles and I also grabbed something a little bit bigger to trace. Another cup. Okay, so I'm going to go in little bit bigger and get that in and just a couple let's see I'm gonna do one more okay all right so I have some circles, right? You don't have to do that many. And so that you guys can see them even better, I'm going to outline them in black. So I'm going to pause and I will be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so now I have my bubbles outlined. You don't have to outline them, I just wanted to make them easier for you to see, okay? So, now, our first step to making them look just a little bit more realistic instead of just circles, 2D circles on a page, is I like to go in and give them a little highlight. So we did that in this one right over here, right, that little comma shape. When I do that in my bubbles, if I'm going to pick the upper right side for this one. I'm going to do the same side on all of my bubbles because that's where the light's coming from, right? Unless I had like lights here and here and here and here, then they might move around a bit more. Okay. So I'm going to go in and you guys are going to want to use your pencils. I'm going to do like a, a straight and then almost like a curved triangle. And you can even do like a dot next to it. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add those into all of my bubbles. 
these ones are overlapping, but see how even though it overlaps, I still have it. You can keep it like that. You could do more, too much, and it might get too busy. All right. So now we have our bubbles with the light reflecting. And now what I like to do is grab a coloring utensil. So you could use markers, you could use crayons, oil pastels. I'm going to grab my oil pastels because I haven't really used those very much. Just for fun. Alright, <clears throat> and you can do one color per bubble or you could do a couple colors per bubble, right? Because if you notice when you have those bubbles floating in the air, it's like there's little rainbows inside of them. Say I want a light blue for one. I'm going to go in and right along the outside of my highlight, I'm going to do a thin border with a little bit of blue. Right along the outside. And then I'm going to color in between. And then I'm going to bring it around to make it look like the letter C. All right, so if you can see that, let's see. Like the letter C. And I like to do mine just on the inside. You see how I have that little gap in there? It's up to you. You don't have to do it on the inside. And if you want, you can leave it there, or you could do like almost like a little smiley face right down on the other side. Again, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap. Okay, so maybe I'll do a couple. Put that blue in there. I'm leaving the like comma shapes that I did with white. I'm not coloring those in. So I'm going to do that bubble and then I'll do one more over here. do it around it, in between it, and then I curve it around like the letter C. And I like to add in a little smiley face right in between them. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to switch to another color. Maybe now I want... So I'm going to do green on this one, right, and these ones overlap, so I'm going to have my green come right down on top of that, right in there. this way. Maybe next I want purple. 
this one by the letter C. Face. Now I've gone from just a circle making it look like I have bubbles. Right? And you can leave it there. <clears throat> you could go even further if you wanted and just do like like a darker color right on the edge instead of leaving that gap on the other side. I can make that darker blue. that adds in more of a shadow. Okay, so be on the opposite light side of where the light is reflecting. It would just overlap with each other. Just a little thin layer right on the edge for the dark colors. Okay, and that gives them more of a shadow. You could also even, if you wanted to, do like two colors in here. Like maybe I wanted to do one little curve right there, or, or maybe I wanted to do it more towards the top. You can do a couple colors. I want to do a lot more than that, right? Because bubbles are mostly see-through. Okay. <clears throat> so, for the most part, um, they're clear with just little hints of color, right? So just little curves towards the outside of the bubble, but a lot of white in the middle and white right in here make them look a bit more realistic. Now, an optional thing that you can also do if you used oil pastels is you could take your fingers and just gently in the same direction that it went back and forth like you're just trying to gently pet a little mouse. Right? And you can 
rub it in a little bit too to blend it better. And that can soften it or you can just leave it as is, especially if you use like, you know, if you used markers or if you used crayons, you won't be able to blend it with your fingers. So just a fun little extra thing that, that you can try. I'm just rubbing it in a curved pattern. Oop, not too hard. Okay, I don't want to go back and forth like this, right? I'm just gently going in that circle. I'll do some of these ones right in here. And if you do end up accidentally getting, you know, some color inside of that highlight, that white part, you could also use like a white oil pastel. Okay, got a couple more. Let's leave those ones out. So, so gentle. It takes lots of practice. You might not get it at first, but the main thing is to have like a lighter color up here, darker color up here. You want it above and below that comma shape so that that light that reflects in your bubbles pops out even more. All right. Do one more. If you want, you could leave it on your white piece of paper. You can also even cut them out and if you have a colored piece of paper at home, you can Cut them out and glue them onto a colored piece of paper. Like black would be cool, or if you have some other kind of color, any color would really work. Here. <clears throat> I'm going to cut mine out and show you what it would look like on a black piece of paper, just so you can see. Or, no, maybe I won't do black. <sighs> maybe I'll do... Yeah, no, I think black would look cool. All right, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to cut them out so that you can see what they would look like on the different kinds of paper. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I almost have all of mine glued on my piece of paper. And I like it. I think it's looking pretty cool so far. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is if you have bubbles that you had overlapping or close together, I just cut them like as a whole thing, right? Instead of worrying about how am I going to separate these, right? Now, you could use tape if you don't have tape. You don't have to put them on another piece of paper either but something I wanted to show you is uh, you want to make sure that when if you do cut them out and put them on a new piece of paper you want to make sure that where those highlights are right those like commas on your bubbles they all face the same way right so I don't want these ones to be on this side because those ones are on the other side 
or on the top. I'm going to turn them until they're all about the same direction. So mine would be coming from the left. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that right on there. And then the glue can go all the way. It's not going to be too much. And there you go. And now I can decide do I like it this way or this way? Oops. Or this way? Hmm. Or this way? Gosh, it's so much. I think I like it like that. There's your bubbles. Happy drawing. Oh, and I'll do some extra videos where you can see more options for shading. And I'll put the sphere in my light box or shadow box so that you can see um, the shadows. So you can explore doing bubbles, which is a fun, a little bit easier way to just add in a little bit of color and that comma to make it look 3D. And if you want to try out other shadings and, um, and, uh, shadows underneath your spheres, then you can check out those optional videos too. Okay, have a good day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.